Hello there, this is Father Ken Lau and uh, welcome to the fifth episode of Living with the Saint series. So the first four saints we've discussed uh, about the saints from Poland uh, and this week uh, I'm going to discuss with you a saint from France, okay? And her name is Saint Margaret Mary Alacoque since it's um, very fitting that this coming Friday, uh, June 19, is the Solemnity of the Sacred Heart of Jesus so it will be good to feature her this week. So something about Saint Margaret Mary Alacoque. Um, she was born on July 22nd, 1647. So this is the middle of the 17th, 17th century. And it was during this time wherein it was very rampant about the heresy of Jansenism. Okay. Uh, so to combat that heresy, Jesus gave her messages about, uh, his sacred heart. So she grew up, uh, seeing a vision of Jesus and she thought that it was just a normal part of life. Okay, May of 1671, she joined the, the visitation nuns in uh, France, in paris le and, um And it was there that Jesus was giving her this message about the Sacred Heart. So one of the messages that Jesus gave her was, was this, Behold this heart, which has so loved men that it spared nothing, even going so far as to exhaust and consume itself, to prove to them its love. And, ret and in return, I receive from the greater part of men nothing but ingratitude by the contempt, irreverence, sacrilegious, and coldness with which they treat me in the sacrament of love. So he asked for the, the nine uh, first Friday uh, devotion, but also a holy hour uh, every Thursday night. Okay, and that's in uh, to keep Jesus company in his agony in the Garden of Gethsemane in order to bring comfort and consolation to his sacred heart. Okay, And another thing that Jesus asks is to celebrate this feast of uh, the sacred heart of Jesus, which is on the, the, the Friday after Corpus Christi. Some of uh, her famous quotes is this, you know, she said that I need nothing but God and to lose myself in the heart of Jesus. And there's others, several other quotes, famous quotes of St. Margaret Alacoque that maybe. So she died on uh, <clears throat> October 17, 1690, and uh, she was beatified on September 18, 1864. A year only after she got beatified, wherein the, 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 the devotion to the Sacred Heart has been officially recognized by the Universal Church. After her beatification, her tomb was exhumed and she, uh, and, uh, and the Catholic Church saw her incorrupt body. Okay. And there was also two instantaneous miraculous healing that happened. On May 13, 1920, uh, she was canonized as a saint. Okay. So her feast day is October 16, uh, of every year. And she is the patron saint of those who have, uh, a devotion to the Sacred Heart. So there are other books that I would like to recommend to you to, to really read. Um, so these are the, the, the five, the top five books that, um, uh, I, I would recommend for you to read. So in order for you to really grow, in your devotion to the Sacred Heart. Uh, let's have a, a as intercession of uh, St. Margaret Mary Alacoque so, so that we will have a stronger devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Be a living saint. Jesus Mary Joseph, we trust in you.